Hello guys, welcome back to the app. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you Kiwi size chart and recommender Shopify app tutorial. So, if you're looking to start using Kiwi size chart and recommender here, there are going to be a few things that you need to set up or you need to do here in order for you to start using it. So yeah, so all, we all know that having a size chart into your store is something really important, especially if you run a store that sells t-shirts, uh, jackets, or shorts. Well, adding a size chart is something really helpful so people can actually visualize what the sizing is going to be. Now, the first thing that we want to do here is we want to access our Shopify store. So just, just go to Shopify.com and just log in into your account. But once you've done that, let's go ahead and just install the app itself. Now, at the bottom left, let's go and click on settings. And you want to go to apps and see your channel that I've side here. And you want to go and click on Shopify App Store. I should open up the App Store here. Go to the very top here, search apps, guys, and more. Just type in the following. It's going to be Kiwi, Size, Chart, and Recommender. Now, the great thing about this app here is they actually have a free plan that you could use. Like, you can publish two uh, size charges. We have also dynamic size charges, full size customization, and automatic unit conversion, and QE watermark. Now, the thing with this one is if you want to get more features out of the app itself, yeah, you, you need to get either premium, plus, or ultimate, which is around like 6.99 for the cheapest plan that you have here. But just in case, like if you want to try their plans first, you could use a free uh, free trial here. We just have yeah, like 14 days to try this. But yeah, let's go and click on install. Now from here, it's going to ask you if you are really sure that you want to install the app itself. Just click on install. It's on it. But once you've done that, this is what you should be seeing. So in this case, the dashboard. So it's going to welcome you into Kiwi uh, sizing here. Like you go and click on get started here and it should already give you the option to start setting up your size chart. Now, first things first, if you have your brand color. Now the brand color here determines uh, what's the color or primary color for your store. So for example, if you're using like reds, make sure to use reds or greens. So you wanna switch over to green. So you have the color uh, picker here. So they also have brown, as you can see, you can change that. And as you can see, the colors for the text and the uh, lines here changes as well. So yeah, you can go and just choose your color. Now, I also have the shop logo here. You can upload your own image here. So you can go and click on drop file or click to upload. Or you could also use uh, from URL. Now, from here, it's going to choose an upload or upload a photo here. Like, is this just an example? Let's go and choose this one. Click on open. Now, it should start uploading our photo here. So we have this photo. Oh, by the way, this is our logo. This is just an example, but obviously, you can go and add your own. Now you also have your sizing here, which is by default the um, the height and width is going to be set to auto. So we are good with that one. And let's go and click on add. Now, from here, we have a few things. So display both in parallel US metric uh, unit uh, measurements if you want to enable that, especially depending on the market that you're uh, up selling at. So you may want to enable that. Also have the unit conversion display mode here. So you have conversion button or you have inline text or inline cell. Also have the default unit system here. You could either choose like imperial unit system or metric unit system, which is around centimeters, kilogram, and etc. Also have the line uh link text here, so a size chart. So it's going to be the default name. You have the chart icon here. You can change that if you want. Also have the pop-up model header text here and the pop-up model head uh, header sub text here. But this is more quite advanced here. You can change this if you want. But yeah, we are good with that one. Now, by the way, at the right side here, if this is what your size chart is going to look like as you can see right now. So in this case, uh, ju just for viewing uh, per uh, viewing purposes, uh, at the right side, you can see it. But let's go and click on Finish. Let's see are good. And from here, it's going to actually ask you to enable the actual extension itself. So by default, the extension is not enabled. Let's go and click on Enable Extension. And from here, it's going to open up our editor and it's going to ask us to enable the extension itself. So usually at the left side, you should see it in here. So in this case, yeah, as you see, Kiwi sizing is now added. So it should be added in here. So it should be under in here. So if I'm not mistaken, so by the way, you could just delete uh, whatever you don't want. So maybe I want to delete, I want to hide, maybe hide this one. And yeah, so we now have a Kiwi sizing here. So once you see it added in here, you can go and just click on the save at the right side here. Save your changes. So we are good. Let's go back into our previous page. Now let's go ahead and maybe I'll re reload 
our page here so that we can see it's now updated now if you do see it in here still in here just make sure to save your uh changes once you've done that but very good now from here before we actually start adding our sizes here let's go and discuss a few things so you also have analytics here which gives you insights on uh your on this case uh your metrics or your data from your store here so if you want to view that so pop-up link clicks here so links that you added so by the way this is just fake data uh if in this case you need premium plus ordering plan in order for you to access this you also have your products here so in this case you can view them so you view products without size charts here if you want uh you could go ahead and click on them view them so we could go ahead and just add uh so view the sizing charts related to that but let's go ahead and just add it like later on you also have the styles and setting here so you could view uh what we uh did before so you have display here obviously this is what our design is going to look like now you also have the uh different options so you can change like for example the advanced settings here recommender if you want to edit that also have your affiliate program here if you want to join their affiliate program this is where you'll be able to uh, basically uh, apply for it i also have the plan here just in case you want to upgrade your plan also have your account here if you want to start managing that or if you want to add the like, collaborators in here let's go ahead and go to our uh kiwi size chart here just click on it i'm just going to go and click on add sizing now from here you can just start adding your sizing here so in this case you can go ahead and choose the option here for use uh, layout template so in this case you're going to create from current sizing or new template here so you either choose that one new template allows you to choose from existing templates here like tabs internet conversion HMO code I have a cross table here so this are templates that you could choose from and also this gives you uh, a lot of things that you could do so you could go and choose simple mode here by the way or advanced mode so for example the sim uh, size range is going to be small medium large we have measurements here chest waist hip so if you want to change a few things as, as you can see this is what the sizes that we see here right now so you can change that like for example if you want to add like something here it's going to add that specific uh column if you want so yeah let's go ahead and delete that this one we are good with the uh, default one so for the conversion here, you could add like units for it. Like for example, you can like add in as inches to centimeter. I have the table direction here. So if you want to change that, as you can see, it changes. You also have the option to add ro rows, columns. You if you want to also enable country size here. Also have the high ta uh, high table option if you want. You also have the table header uh, table header text. If you want to add like for example a like test or something uh, i want to add quir uh, something quirky text that you want to add here except table footer so you can add it at the very bottom as you can see right now but yeah so we are good with this one so let's just uh basically hide this one uh by the way let's go ahead and just click on uh the chart name here so for example let's go and say this is going to be test table let's go ahead and add our sizes here you could just go ahead and add that let's go ahead and click on the edit edit table here and from here you can move them around it by the way and also this is for the image here so this block uh, you can use it to add text to your size chart as well so if you want to add more uh, text if you want to add like images in it let's go and click on the edit this layout section click and browse image let's go and upload an image here this is an example if you want to just upload your own open just for design purposes let's go and click on add yeah add it up so you can add the section, add the text just in case you want to explain something. It's going to add a table here. Now for the chest, maybe this is going to be around. Uh, this is just an example. Obviously, I'm going to uh, change it. 15, 15, 15. Just, uh, let's just say this is going to 17. Now this is not actual sizes here. Just just to give you an idea. But we are good with this one. As you can see, it's now updated. It's going to be automatically updated in here. But let's go ahead and just click on the save button at the top right here. So let's go please share experience. Let's go ahead and click on no. Um, sorry, sorry. Let's go ahead and cho choose that. So in this case, there are going to be uh, uh some notifications here just in case there are problems. So the the sizing has no matching condition here. So may you make sure you may want to edit that just in case in the future. So they have that as well. So what we need to do next here is we want to add our condition. So in this case, we have product matching conditions here. So by the way, just in case you can't close this one, usually at the very bottom we have close. You can go and click on it. Let's go and just add our matching condition. Let's go and add matching condition. Let's go and choose products. 
and let's go and choose our product here so maybe i want to use this for this product here since we have this photo added in here let's go and go and select and we just added our product so in this case let's go and click on save it's going to say close this one and as you can see the issue has now been resolved now how do we view this so in this case you could go and just click on the match with one product here you could go and just click on view here and as you can see, we have that size chart that we could just click on it and you now have that pop up for that specific chart here. But yeah, so by the way, if you want to change the view for it, just in case, like if you want to you want to go to your settings here, uh, go to styles and settings, you can go and just change the uh, view here. You could either choose like the display as inline if you want to show it inline or link model, depending on what you want. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.